Hello, Rich Keeble here, and welcome to my channel, and more specifically, Rich Runs dot 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 Denby's and Dicks about, or something like that. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. If you've subscribed already, why not set up another account and subscribe again, or maybe tell your friends. And anyway, basically, just get me over a thousand subscribers so I can start making some f***ing money. So happy Friday, the magic of television. Uh, I've had a bit of a funny week in a bit. Uh, there's been a bit of shooting, a bit of writing, a bit of performing. I'm now almost at the end of week four of my advanced 12-week Manchester Marathon plan. And despite some negativity and some previous uh, running documentaries, I think things are um, going in the right direction, touch wood. So week three, which was last week, uh, I shot a pilot proof of concept thing on on the Monday, which I can't say too much about, but it did mean I missed uh, the first run of the week. No big deal. Um, as you can see, I've intended to move it there. We'll reveal that shortly. I had a couple of speed sessions uh, on the Tuesday and Thursday, which uh, actually went pretty well. Quite encouraging. Uh, I missed that run on the Wednesday. Uh, and then actually, yes, I, I ended up doing just 30 minutes of that 60 minute run on the Friday. So I was a little bit down on uh, mileage uh, that week. Uh, but the reason for that was I was a little bit busy with uh, things. So I had the, uh, the shoot on the Monday. I also wanted to edit my Matthew McFadden video, um, which uh, you can watch here. I also had my first live gig of the year on Friday. I performed at uh, Aces and Eights in Tufnell Park. My friend Andrew O'Neill um, does a night called Troy Club. So uh, I played there. Uh, Simon Munnery was the headliner. And Kevin Eldon was in the audience. Big fan of Kevin Eldon. Now, Kevin Eldon's presence uh, partly inspired the d***ing about element of this uh, because I misremembered the title of his DVD, which is actually uh, Titting About, uh, but I thought it was d***ing about. Notice how I bleeped d***ing and not titting. I think, that's, uh, I think that's the way to go. Anyway, Kevin Eldon's DVD there of his live show from 2010, I think it was, uh, which is the show that inspired him to get his own BBC show. It's Kevin that was on a few years ago. Uh, very excited that Kevin Eldon has seen me perform. I was doing my Harry Ham character. So I did that, uh, got back quite late, and then uh, had about six hours sleep, and then I was up the next morning because, uh, you know, when you're doing a marathon plan, there's, there's usually a long run in the diary. So um, Dale and I both had this two hour 20 run on the Saturday, so we agreed to do the Denby's Park Run, uh, us and my friend Sarah and Dale's friend Ben. Now I should clarify, it's not actually called Denby's Park Run, but everyone everyone I know calls it Denby's because it's in Denby's estate. I think it's just called Mole Valley Park Run. I should have looked that up, but I, have, I couldn't be bothered. So yeah, I got to bed about 20 to one after the gig and then had to get up about six hours later to go and get the train. Let's pick it up from there. 43, southwestern. <laughs> Hi. So, I slept in line for 6.45. So, I had about six hours sleep. I'm on the train now, the uh, 7.43 from Dorking. Uh, sorry, 7.43 to Dorking. I cycled to Raymond's Park. So, I had a couple of uh, peanut butter toasts. So, day on this. Staying in Dorking at the moment, looking after your sister's dog, I think. But he's going to meet me at Dorking Station, pick me up, and um, we're going to go to Denby's Park Run. Sarah's going to meet us there. We're going to do the Park Run and see how we go. Okay, so I've got half an hour now. I just paid £10.40. A ticket. Ten pounds forty. 
Challenge 40 for a return ticket to Dorking. Speechless. <laughs> oh dear. How are you? <laughs> I'm a club member, bro. Easy. So. Uh, this wouldn't happen without all the people standing behind you, our volunteers. So I'd like to say a big thank you to them. Okay, I think that's all I need to say, so let's go and start. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. I'll cheer you at the fish line. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I don't think I don't think I could if I wanted to. Uh, me please. Oh. Uh, you Lovely, you've got that. Okay. Yeah, right. so, 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 uh, yep, that's gone through. Have you? Is that 107? Yep, yeah. that's in there. Lovely. Thank you very much. Right, who's first? Come okay. on, young man. Uh, where's your bike? So yeah, I did the 5k, um, just under 30 minutes, which I thought was pretty good. It's a very tricky part run, that one. Um, you really want your trail shoes on. Uh, yeah, share some of the route for the Bacchus Wine Half Marathon that Dale and I did last year. Uh, but yeah, first three kilometres are just uphill. Uh, yeah, so Sarah, Dale and I basically ran that together. That that was fun and uh, lovely scenery. If you, if you haven't been to the Denby's Park Run, then check it out. Although, uh, yeah, I'm not going to make a habit, habit of it if I'm going to have to spend £10 to, for the pleasure. Anyway, after that, I didn't bother filming, but uh, Dale and I then ran for another couple of hours. We did a 10 mile sort of route around Dorking, similar to what we did before, uh, to sort of top us up to, uh, yeah, half marathon distance for the day. So that was pretty good. I was pretty pleased with that. Makes it a lot easier doing a long run with other people. Um, I could feel it in my legs though. I found the steps a little bit of a struggle. Uh, but I treated myself to a lamb samosa from the station. So there you go. So then I was sort of back into rehearsing and uh, writing uh, to perform sort of stuff. So I had another Harry Ham gig on the Monday night and Tuesday night I was performing at Liars League, which is a storytelling night where uh, writers submit stories on a theme, short stories, 
and the ones that get accepted get performed by actors on, on the night. So um, Katie, who runs Lies League, had texted me and asked me if I wanted to do one, and uh, I said yes. So we had a little Zoom rehearsal on the Sunday. Uh, and then the rest of the time, I was sort of working on Harry Hound stuff uh, to do, which I then performed on the Monday night at my friend Holly Hall's sketch night. Holly Hall won the uh, BBC Comedy Award, and she had a BBC Three short out last year, which she uh, very kindly gave me a part in, alongside uh, well-known people like Kyle, uh, Fiona Allen and Kate Robbins. Yeah, did that, did the Lions League on Tuesday night, went down very well, uh, that was a lot of fun. So, yeah, lots of stuff to keep me going uh, while my wife and kids are in Poland because it's half term. By the way, the live performing stuff of, you know, me hanging around in my wife's shorts on stage is uh, is the d***ing about that this title refers to. The Denby's element, you can probably understand. But yeah, this week, we're at week four. Um, it's been going all right, to be honest with you. I, I don't want to tempt fate. But I did a I did an hour easy on uh, Monday. I did these surges. I, one thing I do hate about this Manchester plan is some of it is just a bit ambiguous. I did these surges, which you know, twenty minute easy, and then five blocks of three minutes at seven out of ten effort, and then one minute at nine out of ten effort. So five repeats of that, and there's no rest period there. I don't quite understand whether I did that right or not, because if I was doing three minutes of seven out of 10 effort and then one minute at nine out of 10 effort. I could really do with a bit of a rest before then trying to do seven out of 10 effort again. I don't know whether I did that wrong. It feels like without a recovery period in between, you're not doing either properly. But anyway, I did it. And then there was a steady run the, the day after. Now, if steady is supposed to be a little bit less than your marathon pace, I thought, well, that's going to kill me, uh, three runs in a row and a run the next day. So I just did 2K easy, 2K steady and just repeated. And actually the run, uh, which for me today, uh, for you yesterday, the Magic of Television, um, I've actually postponed to tomorrow or today for you, the Magic of Television. So there we go. But um, yeah, generally, I think that's, that's, you know, we're looking pretty good, you know. Considering we started off this marathon uh, block, coming back from injury, you know, we're getting there. Garmin has it has um, told me my VO2 max has increased to 49 from 48. It was 53 before the injury. But, you know, baby steps. We're getting there, I think. That's all very exciting. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um... Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said before, you know, I need there's a cost of living crisis. So uh, I'll catch you later.